2023 population and housing census is about to be conducted nationwide. Ensure you are counted to help the National Population Commission deliver a credible and reliable census figure for Nigeria's development. Welcome to another episode of Population Timeline, a program of the National Population Commission, the Nigerian government agency that provides demographic data for national development. I am Nkechi Okeshola. National Population Commission, providing demographic data for national development. Nigeria's National Security Advisor says the Security and Logistics Committee for the Census will be replicated nationwide as part of plans for a successful census. Major General Babagana Mongulu was speaking at the presidential villa in Abuja while inaugurating the committee in his office. The federal government has again demonstrated its commitment towards a successful, reliable and acceptable census with the inauguration of a National Security and Logistics Committee headed by the National Security Advisor, Major General Wabagana Mungunu. Federal Commissioner representing Binwe State, Patricia Kupchi Iyanya, who is Chairman General Services Committee of the National Population Commission, spelled out the functions of the committee during their inauguration at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. The objective of establishing the committee is to program and control the movement all census personnel and materials, as well as advice on the general security situation in the country in preparation for the conduct of the first digital census exercise in Nigeria that will generate reliable data for national planning and development of the country. Chairman, National Population Commission, Nasir Isakwara, said the inauguration marks another important milestone in the journey to bequeath to Nigerians a reliable, credible and acceptable census figures that will drastically transform the country in terms of development planning. Today's event marks a major milestone in the journey towards the first fully digital census in Nigeria. Census has been described as a as uh, next to war and uh, the biggest peacetime activity in terms of mobilization of men and resources and to us in the commission the importance of the inauguration of the security and logistics committee cannot be overemphasized regarding the operation and the success of the 2023 population and housing census the commission attaches great importance to the work of the National Security and Logistics Committee whose work 
we believe is very crucial and important to the Commission in our quest to give Nigeria credible, reliable and acceptable data for national planning. I want to assure all members of the committee of iron cast support from National Population Commission. We are ready to fully support the committee in all areas to make it succeed in its assignment. The commission is without delay organizing a workshop on processes and methodologies for the census to keep members of the committee up to date on the preparation for the census. Nigeria has vast landmass with pockets of hard to reach areas. With the structure and capacity of members, organizations in this committee, I'm confident the committee has all it takes to mitigate security and logistic challenges of the 2023 population and housing census. I wish to end this address on a note of assurance to all Nigerians that the Commission remains committed to the conduct of a credible and acceptable census that will be transformational and meet the international standards. In the 2023 census, everyone will be counted in the right place, in the right way, and time. And for the benefit of all persons resident in Nigeria. The National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mungunu, who is the chairman of the committee, said it will be replicated nationwide because President Muhammad Buhari wants to leave behind a legacy of a successful census after 17 years. I am pleased to formally welcome you all to this very important occasion of the inauguration of the National Census Security and Logistic Committee for the 2023 Population and Housing Census. Now, the overarching need to provide the nation with accurate and reliable demographic data for policy formulation and planning for sustainable development cannot be overemphasized. It is in the light of this and the desire to bequeath an enduring legacy of evidence-based planning for sustainable development that the conduct of the 2023 population and housing census is of utmost priority to the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. The setting up of this committee and its inauguration at this point in time is therefore a necessary first step towards ensuring the peaceful and smooth conduct of the census. This is arising from the pivotal role a credible and reliable census data plays in planning for sustainable development. In view of this, and in line with its mandate of generating demographic data for the purpose of development planning, the National Population Commission has over the years invested considerable time and resources planning for the census in order to give the nation a truly scientific census data that will serve as a guide for planning within the context of global economic challenges, insecurity, and other human development situations. To this end, the National Population Commission has resolved to conduct the first fully digital census that will give the nation credible, reliable, and trustworthy data which will serve as basis 
for driving government planning for infrastructure, security, budget allocations, and development intervention agenda. Now, the task before the National Security and Logistic Committee is huge, but not insurmountable. Nigeria is not only diverse in size, but also languages, residents, age and socio-economic orientation. The scope of the 2023 population and housing census will therefore cover the entire country and involve counting of every person resident in Nigeria. It will also take place simultaneously in every household in the country and therefore safeguarding the personnel and materials as well as a smooth channeling of some of these materials is imperative to the overall success of the exercise. Now, with these at the back of our minds and the desire to succeed in this venture, the committee must be conscious of several risk factors that may militate against the successful conduct of the 2023 census. In consideration of your wealth of experience and commitment to nation building, you have been carefully selected to add value as members of the 2023 Population and Housing Census National Security and Logistic Committee to, among other duties and responsibilities, support, intervene to safeguard census personnel and materials as well as mobilize logistics resources for the census. It is also critical to devise appropriate strategies for storage, distribution, and retrieval of census equipment and materials where the need arises. I am delighted to state that for a robust security and logistic arrangement for this exercise, this committee will be replicated in all the 36 states of the Federation as well as the Federal Capital Territory. This is very important because of concern that have been expressed in certain quarters, you know, that security may be an issue in the condo of the censor. I mean, with the all array of security agencies gathered here, first we are assured that we'll be in a position to mitigate any possible challenge that will arise out of the censor. This is very, very reassuring. What it also means is that we'll be able to deploy materials to every nook and cranny of this country. The director, Census of the National Population Commission, is at the center of implementation of the census timeline, which includes a lineup of activities for the 2023 population and housing census. Ariola Evening Olanik Bekung speaks more on this in an interview with Population Timeline. Concerning the 2023 population and housing census, uh, we have a strategy for implementation in place, and uh, a major component of that is our calendar. And the calendar has various activities that we intend to uh, implement towards conducting the census. Key among them is the recruitment. We, we created a recruitment portal and we advertised to Nigerians, stating clearly our uh, pre-qualifying -quali pre attributes for each of our position, I mean, of our roles that are going to be uh, uh, performing one thing or the other in the census. And uh, having advertised to Nigerians, we said it is compulsory that everyone that wants to apply for each of these roles, census is for Nigeria and to be conducted by Nigerians. You must be a Nigerian. And one thing that we insisted upon is that each person must have a NIN number 
that is national identity card identity number which uh, ties everyone and confirms you to be a nigerian so it is the ni number that uh, you are able i mean it is with the ni num ni nin number you are able to key into the portal and be able to register and we have various posts that were advertised ranging from the enumerator supervisor uh field coordinator facilitators and uh, monitors and then uh all of this we have and they have been maxim i mean effectively subscribed to online so uh, as much as possible we may we geofence the applications to where you are applying from that is where you are you where your usual place of residence so as much as possible uh you will apply to be an enumerator for instance in your ward in your lga so that for no reason will you travel too far and then having had all i mean all of this for each of the rules we started screening we had to screen because of course we have more than what we required so we and we have we have a set standard that we determine who and who will be capable to function in each of the positions so for the group for the very first set of people the facilitators who are going to, who are the trainers who are the teachers that will prepare the enumerators and supervisors we started their own screening and after screening the first batch we had their own the first trade level of training in november 2022 and that we did uh we tagged the national level training here we train about 500 people that are supposed to train another set in the zone so this group were distributed to the zones and they had to prepare another 5000 there so from that point we sp the 5000 now are the ones that are now training another group in each state the essence of having cascaded training is to be able to start small to prepare the people well and when they are, we got in the, i mean we get them properly trained we ask them to train another group you will remember our our functionary now will be in the neighborhood of about over 800,000 and this 800,000 we need i mean certain percentage of trainers to be able to effectively give them the kind of training they need to work for us and collect the data that is required so these levels of training has been conducted at the national level the national level went to train at the zonal level because we want every rep uh, respondent to be able to be communicated to and there are some that may not understand the language of our questionnaire which is english so we have translated the uh, the, the questionnaire into languages so we want people that are around that place that can speak the language so that if the respondent that is the people who want to enumerate now do not understand english they can scroll to the other language which he or she understand and which the enumerator himself understand so that is why it is important that one the enumerators have to be from the community we want to quickly go into the field and conduct what we call building numbering and household listing and this is like preparing a kind of uh, roster that we guide enumeration we want to know how uh, they want to number every building in every ea that has been assigned to every enumerator and when we say ea these are assignment areas which we have uh, de de demarcated all through our demarcation exercise and then when we do demarcation we say this is to be able to assign jobs to enumerators so this is the time we need all those enumeration now so each enumeration area will be assigned to an enumerator and the enumerator is supposed to now go around this uh, enumeration area the enumeration area you recall we say have a distinct boundary that separate a from b and each of them have their unique names we have divided the entire country into small small units and each of the units have a code each of the units have a name so at the end of the day my own name is different from your own and my own code is different from yours so on the time i mean at the time now that we are doing building number and household listing we expect every enumerator to go around their own enumeration area 
Now, when they go around their own enrichment area, they go and notice the number of buildings that were here. You know, you remember we are using satellite imagery. We, this was used for the demarcation, and the same satellite imagery uh, will be used for the en uh, for enumeration now, so that th all those buildings that have been marked as num and numbered during the demarcation, the enumerator will go around and confirm: Are they still there? Okay, if they are there, they will give it census number now. Then there are some that must have been dilapidated or demolished. So, if they are no longer there, we have taught them what to do. They put a cross, and we know, I mean, it is shown that though they were there when this place was demarcated, but now it is no longer there. When they come across new ones, they, they have to, the space of the new one, of course, will be there as a gap in their map. So, what they do now is to capture the GPS point of the new one. And they will now list for us in our record that social beauty is now here and this is the number i have assigned to it and the moment they key that into our database it will come up in the map and it will also come up in the listing that we will use for the enumeration so on enumeration day there are no surprises they already know what they have there they know even the number of family uh, households that are there so going from one building to the other Going, f I mean, going from one household to the other will be very easy. And there may be cases too that they've listed the household, and then we, I mean, the number of household that was listed there before, they met another one there. If they're able to confirm that these ones are new and they were not in our record, they also add it to it because census is the fatu. So who we see, we can't. The 2023 population and housing census is technology driven. To achieve this, a consultant working for the National Population Commission collaborated with the ICT Department of the Commission to develop the software used in the Personal Digital Device Assistance, the PDA, to gather information. The consultant, Teslim Saludin, spoke to Population Timeline during an interview in Lagos. Um, so far in the last um, four years, we have been preparing the technology for the census, which is to be used on the field by all elementators and supervisors on the field. So we've been able to collaborate with the ICT department and other consultants to create um, one of the first and robust field technology that will enable a geospatial and statistical data collection across the country. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it technology can work across every corner of the country to ensure each enumerator um, covers an enumeration area and enumerate each person across the Admission area. So, so far we've piloted several times and it has functioned very well. I'm looking forward to performing one of the largest data centers in Africa. Okay, so, um, well, my part particularly was the geospatial part of the technology for the census that's on the on field. So, what this does is um, it tells you all the buildings you have to visit as an enumerator and supervisor and it leads you down to your area of assignment without having to ask any question um, from, uh, from any, any, anybody per se. So, it also guides you to um, identify each building within the um, um, your admission area and then verify each building and then list all the households within the building. So this, this technology is like one of the first in Africa that enables an animator to identify each building in their admission area without any external guidance. So this is um, my major part I've, I've played in, in, in the technology so far. So the PDA is uh, like your normal Android tablet, right? But with specific, uh, with, with selected specifications that will enable us to install all applications that will enable animators to collect data on field. So this tablet will be secured and um, will, will be um, um, secured that only the applications that are to be used for the sensors will be on it. So these, these applications will enable the enumerators to collect data, enable supervisors to mon uh, monitor and manage their enumerators. Uh, yeah, primary that. And that's the program population timeline for this week. I am Nkecho Keshola. Bye.